Here it is. Because we just brought up this other point. Now, going from upward facing dog to downward facing dog, a lot of you, what's happening when you make that transition now from upward facing dog to downward facing dog is you're doing glute repeats. Yeah. You're doing this like, okay? And that's also like not so good for your knees, your back, your ankles, all this stuff. Okay, so we're going to have you walk between your ankles, okay? And a watch. The game is don't lose the walk. That's the game, okay? That's the game. Don't lose the walk all the way through. That's the game. Don't lose the walk all the way through. So now you can't flip your feet. Now you can roll. That's the game is you're like rolling over the foot over and that. Okay? So that can be like really, really useful. Okay? Practice. Yeah. It's like a lot of your legs. Okay? Um, all right. I need to mention um, this too. Um, so we, I can't we really have the time to look at um, anybody else. But we're going to come back to this, okay? Because next weekend we're doing inversions. So this is still going to come into play next weekend, okay? Um, variations of downward facing dog, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. You're going to have that in your homework this weekend, so I just wanted to mention it. Do you remember a couple of things that we did in down dog with some people yesterday? What did we do? Uh, okay, bending the knees. Yeah. Okay, good. What was that? Using the, using the strap around the upper arms. What was the purpose of the belt around the upper arms? Okay. It was really to engage the bicep for people that were overextending their elbows and to keep the stability of the arm and the shoulder, right? So that's a variation that can be done in downward facing dog. For somebody that doesn't have the stability, right, in the, in the joints or in the shoulder, um, another variation would be to bend the knees in downward facing dog. Why would somebody bend the knees in downward dog? Tight down strength. Okay, good. What's a variation of Chaturanga Dandasana? Knees on the ground. Knees on the ground. What else is another variation of Chaturanga Dandasana? No. Not knees, chest, chin. Knees, chest, chin does not teach chaturanga. That is not a variation. Knees to the floor, lowering like you're going into chaturanga, that is a variation, you know? So this is like, this is a variation. The knees to the floor, shift the way forward chaturanga. That's, I'm still in chaturanga, okay? Knees, chest, chin doesn't teach me anything about chaturanga. Yeah, the block underneath the pelvis, right? We did that the other day. So that is a really helpful variation where you can keep people in the pose for a little bit and have some support to really work with their shoulder girdle, okay? All right, good. So that's something that you're going to have to do with your, for your homework this week is pick some variations for some of these poses and then tell who those variations would be good for. Who, who would they serve those variations? Okay? Right here on the thing. Really? Okay, just kidding. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, just can you mention about the homework? Uh, you don't have to do the anatomy part. Yes, thank you. Right. Chrissy is going to be doing the anatomy homework with you, she said, in those sessions, okay? So you don't have to hand those in. If you handed them in, it's fine, but you don't need to hand those in, okay? So you can just keep them in your books, do them with her on Tuesday nights, so you don't have to have that as an added, added thing. Okay? Uh, um, Okay, and then the rest, I think, you know, your only writing assignment is uh, to write out the citations and variations for some of these poses, and then I think the rest is reading. Okay. Teaching script for Dan Downward Dog. Yeah, that might be one other thing. And then, um, yeah, and then so, well, you're going to study, right, so you're going to have a quiz on Surya Namaskar next weekend, okay? So just study for that in terms of just everything we've been talking about this weekend. Like what are the risk factors of sun citation? What are the benefits of the sun citation? Okay. Um, this might seem like a silly question, but you want to all the Sanskrit, the writing of Yeah, write it, write it. 
yeah, write it out, like type it out, like, you know, just like just like I had it on the board, that's all you're gonna do on a piece of paper. Sun citation A. Inhale, Utira Hasasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, okay, and so it'll help you to just get used to using the names in Sanskrit and then matching the breath with the name, okay? Not a silly question at all, all right? Any other questions? There's three writing assignments. Three writing assignments, yeah. Teaching script for downward facing dog, writing out the sun station, mm -hmm. and then some giving variations of chaturanga, I think down dog and up dog, I think. Yeah. Do you want us again the benefit of the block under the pelvis in up dog? In upward facing dog, yeah. That can, you can use a, a block under the pelvis and upward facing dog, or even better, it would be a bolster. Part of that is um, for someone that still doesn't have quite enough strength in like the legs um, or have quite enough core strength. Yeah. Same purpose but to use the block under the pelvis and the around this, and that doesn't have still enough strength in the legs or core strength in their pelvis. And to really be able to teach the pose um, and have them in the pose for a bit, you know, really teach mostly that what's happening in the shoulder girdle, right? It's a lot easier to hold children with the block underneath your pelvis, isn't it? Than without. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, didn't mean that it was like easier necessarily, but it was just easier than without, right? Okay. Um, I know you have to run in order to get your training. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, any other questions? Yeah, so next weekend, Pinch My Rasana headstand, uh, handstand, shoulder stand, all of that. We're going to be doing and going over next weekend. So I really encourage you to practice this week, you know, um, things you know, individually that you need to do, like in understanding better, you know, this, this mechanism up here in the shoulder girdle, things that you need to do to either open that area or strengthen that area in preparation for next weekend. Um, and next weekend, both Jean Marie and I are here. Jean Marie will be here on Saturday, and I will be here on Sunday. Yay! Yay! Okay? All right. Um, so have a great week. Maybe I'll see some of you in the class. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much.